Welcome to your video on graphing quadratic equations in vertex form. Now last week we learned how to graph equations in standard form and it's going to be basically the same process but we just have a different equation to start from. So the first thing we want you to write down is the actual vertex form which is y equals a and then there's a parenthesis x minus h quantity squared plus k. Now those letters probably all look a little bit strange, except you should recognize that there is an x squared and there is a y, so it does have some similarities. Now vertex form is nice because it gives us the vertex. We don't have to use that formula that we were using before. We can just get the vertex right from the equation. So the vertex is h, k. The axis of symmetry is still going to be that line right down the middle of the parabola that will contain um, the vertex, but it's we're going to use the h coordinate to get the equation for the line. So the equation for the axis of symmetry is x equals h. When you are going to be graphing, we have a couple steps laid out for you. And I will talk through them, but you're probably going to want to press pause when I'm done talking and then actually just write down the steps for yourself. Um, so the very first thing we're going to do is identify the a, h, and k. And maybe right next to that, you might want to just write the vertex form of the equation again. I think the more you write it, the better you'll recognize it. So that's y equals a, and then parentheses, x minus h squared plus k. So we're going to identify all those letters first. Um, once you get those letters, take the h, and that's going to be your vertical line, which is your axis of symmetry. So I want you to plot that first, because that'll help us get the other points. Now the vertex, again, is hk. That's going to come right from the equation. And that's the next point that you're going to put on the graph. Then it's just like before. We're going to make a table, making sure that the vertex is in the middle. And then we're going to find other points. And just like before, you don't have to do all of the points. You can do just two of the points and then use symmetry to get the others. So let's go through an example. You can see that our equation is in vertex form. And our very first step is going to be to identify A, H, and K. Now our a value has that kind of that invisible one that we've been talking about for most of the year here. Um, so our a is just going to be 1, and a lot of times it will just be 1. You won't have to worry about it changing too much. Now the h value, this is going to seem a little bit tricky. The h value is actually a negative 3. And the reason for that is in the original vertex form, the equation was x minus h. And so when you see a plus, that meant that originally there was minus a negative. And so obviously a minus a negative will change to positive. So basically whenever you're looking at the h value, it's always going to be the opposite of the number that's inside the parentheses. Some people like to think of it that way. Our k value is just 5. That's always going to stay the same sign. Okay, so next we're going to identify our and plot our axis of symmetry. And that is the equation x equals negative 3. We're just taking the h value right from our equation. And we are going to graph that vertical line right through the negative 3. The next step is to identify the vertex. And the vertex is going to be hk, so that's negative 3, 5. So we will yeah, just kind of ignore that, that first initial dot there. So it's negative 3, 5, and that's going to be our vertex. Now we're going to make a table. And again, we're going to put the vertex in the middle. So just like before, you're going to do your little x, y chart. And right in the middle, you are going to put the point negative 3, 5. And you don't have to show any work for that. That is just our vertex. In fact, even if you want to write vertex in your table to help you out, you could do that. Then you want to choose points on either side of that. So if you went a little bit smaller, you would have negative um, 4 and negative 5. And if you went a little bit bigger, you'd have negative 1 and negative 2. It doesn't matter what order you put these in. So now you decide how you want to plug those in. Um, I think we'll just go negative 1 and negative 2 because those will give us smaller numbers. So if we plug in a negative 1, we're going to have negative 1 plus 3. And then we're going to have to square that. And then we'd add 5. So negative 1 plus 3 is 2. 2 squared is 4. And then when we add 5, we would get 9. So we've got the point um, negative 2, 9. 
when we plug in the negative 1, I'm sorry, negative 1, 9. Um, when we plug in the negative 2, we'll get negative 2 plus 3 squared plus 5. Um, negative 2 plus 3 is 1. 1 squared is 1. And 1 plus 5 is 6. So let's plot those points first. Let's do the negative 1, 9. And here on our graph, we don't quite have 9 spots, but um, it does go to 7, so we can estimate uh, 2 right above that. And then we're going to use symmetry, and we're going to flip that over our axis. So we're going to go over 2 to the axis, and then over 2 more to get our next point. And then we can look at the point negative 2, 6, and that one will fit nicely on our graph. And then again, just use your symmetry. And then you connect your parabola, just try to make it a nice smooth curve so it looks like a U, and you're done. You're now ready to start the practice.